guys welcome to my channel if you guys are new welcome if you guys are a returning subscriber hi welcome back thank you so much for being here my name is Olivia and for today's video I have another unboxing that I want to share with you it is bittersweet because I know this will be my last unboxing for 2021 I've kind of gone overboard with buying handbags this year. I did really, really good up until July when I purchased my um, Prada Reedition crystal bag and that kind of just triggered the whole addiction again. So anyways, I'm putting a stop to it. This is my last unboxing, so I'm really glad you guys can be here to take a look at my new pre-loved bag that I purchased off of eBay. So if you want to see uh, what I got, which you already know what it is, but if you want to see me open this package, then make sure you stick around. Before we begin, I would just like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I make videos on anything and everything, designer luxury handbags, unboxings, maybe not so much unboxings anymore this year, but if you like to see unboxings, definitely check out my other videos. Uh, reviews, wear and tear, what's in my bag, anything and everything luxury designer handbags related, that's what I'm all about. So if you guys share the same passion for luxury designer bags like I do, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell, and join my YouTube family. And without further ado, let's open this up. So I purchased this bag off of eBay. Um, I've just been obsessed with vintage bags lately. So um, this actually will complete my mini collection for Louis Vuitton. And I think my collection in general for now, I'm pretty happy with what I have. And um, yeah, so I'm really excited to open this up, take a look at the condition and uh, talk about it a little bit with you guys. So let's go ahead and open it. So I'm surprised because if you guys have seen my previous unboxing videos, they usually send this bag in like DHL and like little package like this and it's pretty flat so this one for the really small item that it is it actually comes in a box which feel a little special but <laughs> here we go gosh <laughs> this has got to be the smallest handbag I have ever owned you already know what it is it's super tiny are you ready gosh okay so look at this bag right here you guys it is the mini HL speedy oh my gosh look how cute it's so teeny tiny it's so tiny it is so light oh my gosh it's actually like bigger than than you know what I expected so Look at how cute. Let me see if I have something I can stuff this with. Okay, let's use this packaging. So that way you can actually like see. But the inside is really, really clean. And before I forget, the uh, leather tab here just shows Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And I'm going to make sure this focuses so you can see. And the date code is, and I don't remember off the top of my head 
the um, the year the month and year it was made but it is TH0972 so I'll link it somewhere here of what year what month or week this bag was produced but for sure this was made in France and the inside is super 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 clean let me stuff it with this bag so that way we can kind of like have it be shaped okay so here is ooh, the little kind of push that out okay so well that's the best I can do right now I hope that's not like actual damage but it's okay I'll stuff it some more in a little bit but uh, here is the bag this is not the original version. The original one has the LVs like right here in the middle. And uh, I think this bag was made in the 90s. So I again, I will link the date, actual date that it was produced on the screen. So the leather portion of this bag feels so very dry. You guys look at that like hoping it can focus but it definitely needs to be cleaned and conditioned there's cracks right there I think this is like the most noticeable area the cracking right there and <clears throat> here's like the leather there I need to definitely clean the hardware and then also the leather trim, oh my goodness, around this bag is cracked. Look at that. And another known uh, wear or damage to this bag is just the leather pull right here from the zipper is gone. And that's okay. I mean... It just seems like that thing was like flimsy anyways, but here is also the leather portion and it is ripped right there. I am going to consider um, getting the leather parts replaced from Louis Vuitton. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. Um, I'm going to see if, you know, like I really enjoy this bag because I don't want to invest that much money in getting it repaired or replaced if I'm not even going to use it as much so we will see but definitely will yeah look at right here see that leather part it's already like tearing I don't know I'm a little worried actually um the posting didn't really show like this part almost ripping off completely so it's a little concerning but yeah but it's such a cute cute bag you guys look how adorable this bag is i know you guys probably already seen a lot of videos on the mini speedy but i do have my pochette mini pochette that i can compare this bag to and they are pretty similar in length and height look at that okay the only thing is like the width or like how wide the bag is obviously this one is a lot wider so you can fit more things in there but very similar in size to the mini pochette but surprisingly like bigger than what i expected so look at how cute again it is definitely well worn i honestly i don't know if i'm going to keep this one or try to keep looking for one in better condition um i thought that i paid you know a fair amount for this bag but I definitely missed some 
listings off of eBay that appeared to be like in better condition for a little less than what this bag was listing for. So I kind of just like jumped on it because I felt like it was listed at a good price. But if I would have really known like the these specific, you know, like issues right here with the leather almost like ripping off, it's very concerning. So I'll I'll look around and I'll see if I'm going to keep it. Um, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I thoroughly clean my bags before I use it. It's just I want to get rid of other people's cooties. You never know who's had this bag before. So like as soon as I'm done filming my video, you can guarantee I'm going to go wash my hands because I'm touching this bag. <laughs> I'm I'm a germaphobe, but I've been like that even before COVID. COVID just like amplified all of that for me. Um, but you know, basically I've always been the same even before COVID. I just would like to get my pre-loved bags or any items if I get pre-loved. I just want to really like thoroughly clean it, sanitize if I can because I don't like germs. But this, this is such a cute bag, you guys. I know for sure that I want to add this to my collection. So if I don't end up keeping this particular bag, if I find something better, then I'm going to get it because it is a cute bag. I just, I think a mini Speedy is just like, a necessity for me at least because it completes my mini collection. I have the Palm Springs Mini, I have the Montserrat Mini or the Mini Montserrat, I have the Mini Pochette, I have the... what else do I have that's a mini? Maybe that's it, but yes. But look at how cute! It's so cute! Uh, let me put this down. But it is so cute you guys don't you think what do you think so well i mean i could i guess i could show you some mod shots if you want to see mod shots <laughs> so let me show you guys some mod shots of this bag i mean you know it's pretty basic but i am five, ah! <laughs> oh i am five two and a half and this is how the bag looks on me when I'm carrying it like this I mean you can carry it top handle just you know carrying it by its handle like this looking all cute and stuff um, you can't really wear it on the crook of your arm because it's pretty tiny so that's how it would go or you guys can attach a strap onto these um, rings or like the metal hardware right here and you can wear it as a little crossbody bag. So cute, very, very, very cute you guys. Oh my gosh. This is such a cute bag, oh my goodness. I love this bag. I mean, I don't know if I love this particular bag because of the like excessive damage to it that I really wasn't made aware of. So, um, and I also see a little like scratch right there on the canvas. And as you know, if we got scratches on the canvas, uh, Louis Vuitton will not touch your bag. So that is a high um, uh, Priority for me to get bags that do not have cracking on the canvas or scratches on there But I'm really happy with how the interior looks. It's very clean and Yeah, I know for sure. I'm going to have a speedy in my collection if it's this or not, I, I will have it and I will definitely update you guys. Hey guys, so I decided to actually include what fits in this bag. I think that would be super helpful, right? So I went ahead and wiped this down really quick with the water wipes just so I could get all of the germs off, right? And uh, so I wiped the handles, the exterior, 
the interior of the bag and I'm actually going to just use this bag. I think I'm just going to end up keeping it because uh, I can't see myself returning this thing. It is adorable and I want to use it today. So here we go. The first thing that I need to carry with me is my phone, which actually I could carry with me and put it in the back pocket. But I just want to show you guys, this is the iPhone 11 Pro, not the Max, just the 11 Pro. So it actually fits in there with my um, uh, protector, protective case. So that fits in there. And then I have my card holder that will fit in there. What else can I fit? Um, Let's put my keys in. So I'm going to put my keys in there. And I have my key clay that holds like my miscellaneous cards, Costco cards, all of that. I need to bring a hand sanitizer. So I have the small one from Bath and Body Works. And I can still fit a lot more in there actually. So what else do i want to carry uh if i need to this is the six key ring holder and that also fits in there and i still have room for my airpods if i want to take that with me and it it does have that like little bulky case right here so uh i can definitely like leave it at the top like that it won't close though so actually i don't know if it will fit actually it will so i just put it that way and if i want to put or take a lipstick or lip gloss and let me just grab any lipstick so i have this from mac just put it right on top and it actually all fits so let me close it up Tada! <laughs> it's so cute it fits like surprisingly a lot of stuff in there and it is actually already pretty heavy and um i've already mentioned that there's some like cuts or rips in the leather i'm afraid that it might actually like come off or the handles will like rip off so i'm just gonna take a couple of things out that i really don't need right now um my six key ring holder i don't really need that right now and i don't need to take my airpods right now so i'll take that out and just keep what i have in here which still is pretty heavy but not as heavy with um without with those two things in there so that's it i'm ready to go i'm ready to use this bag and yeah very cute you guys if you are thinking about getting this i highly highly recommend it is such a cute bag and it actually fits a good amount of stuff in there so you already saw what i was able to fit and um it carries my essentials it's super cute i absolutely love it and one more thing let me actually put my strap this is the adjustable bandolier strap that i purchased from fashion file and there you go so i can carry this bag like a shoulder bag like this. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I, ha I have the option of carrying it crossbody, but actually for this bag, I just want to carry it as a top handle bag. So I'm going to be removing this strap and just carrying it like this as a top handle. Look at how cute. I can't say that enough. Love it, love it so much. Aww. So this is my mini Speedy or the mini HL Speedy. It goes by a lot of names, but the listing on eBay said this was a mini Speedy HL or HL mini Speedy, one of those. So it definitely has the HL in there. 
and again this is the not the original version because um, the original ones would have the LVs going this way and mine has the ones like on this these two sides right here so that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and comment down below if you have any questions or feedback for me I would really love to hear from you as always I hope you have a blessed day I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you on my next one bye guys